Hey there everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing the Xbox Series S. One of the most recognized features about the S is its size. Then check this out. Ready now? It is a small console. Trust me, I know a thing or two about things being small. Just ask my ex. Seriously, it is really small. Smaller than my Xbox 360. But why do I still have the 360 when the Series S has all the backwards compatibility? That is a good question. And you could buy a piece of hunk of junk I don't need anymore. All right. <clears throat> okay, I'm sorry. I can't do it. I can't do it. I have feelings for inanimate objects, okay? It's not my fault I watch too much Toy Story. Hi, I'm looking for Whoa. Stadia. What? What Stadia? Stadia is only the newest, most logic defined, mind bending, absurd gaming platform on Earth. Forget boxes, forget consoles, just your games, your screens. I do recognize that having the Series X and the 360 is a bit, okay, kind of a lot dumb. But the Series S is so small that it doesn't really matter. Hey, Clandor Sauce here, and what is speed? Okay. Terrible Vsauce impersonation over. However, another big feature of the Series S is how fast it loads now. So I did a bunch of benchmark tests to see how fast the games would load on the Series S versus the original Xbox One. And now because I'm an epic gamer like PewDiePie, of course I loaded up Minecraft first. <laughs> Not funny, didn't laugh. Well, I don't even have to say it's smaller than his forehead. Minecraft. I want you to jump like you trying to get stuck in the air. If you feel it so late and don't care, shorty beat in the face in the mare, up in the air. I want you to jump, 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 Up in the air, I want you to jump. Jump. Like you trying to get stuck in it. Uh, in the air. Like you trying to get stuck in the air. I want you to jump, like you trying to get stuck in the air. If you feel it so late and don't care, shorty beat in the face in the mare, up in the air. I want you to jump, like you trying to get stuck in it. I also tried playing some Halo to see if I had any advantages over other players with the, all this new hardware. Uh, we lost a teammate, really? Uh, the game must have been like, okay, he's on the Series S, he has a huge advantage, so we'll kick, we'll get rid of one of them. I was going to try more games, but I just got so bored of waiting for games to load on the old Xbox One. So I just gave up. Oh. Okay, but what about storage? There is none. Okay, there is some, but it's not a lot. Basically, the Series S comes with 500 gigs of storage on it, so you can download one game of Call of Duty on it. I am Call of Duty, give me all of your gigabytes! It's not a lot of storage, especially for current gen games. 
and the Series S already takes up some of the storage it for itself, which makes it ha you have less than 500 gigs on it already. So if you want to play on the Series S, be prepared to only install a few games or get some expandable storage. It also comes with a new controller. The controller is nice. Uh, it has some new grips, which is very similar to the Elite controller, but I'm too poor for the know what the Elite controller is like, so just take my word for it. J J J J JK, I have used the controller before. It is pretty similar to, to the Series Elite X controller. Now, the new main thing on the controller is the share button. Yeah, I don't know if you have something. Okay. Now, just be careful not to spam the button because when I first did it, there was a bit of a lag and I spammed all the same image this console is perfect for those who want a smaller more compact maybe even portable console and who aren't going to have a lot of games okay i'm just going to spit it out this console it's for filthy casuals which is totally okay I did put my hand near the Xbox because I was turning it off manually and it was kind of hot, nothing too insane, but I would just put this in a more breathable area, not inside of anything, just to be in case. And you might be wondering, what are the technical specs of the new Xbox Series S? And if you're asking those questions, you're not getting this console. You know you're not getting this console. This console is not for you. Like I said, it's for the casuals. You basically already know you're not getting this console if you care about those kind of things. Bottom of the line is it's cheap, it's small, it loads things really fast. It's not going to do 4K. More like, who 4 cares about that anyways? Perfect for casuals who just want a cheap console, who aren't going to have a lot of games. But it's Xbox, we already knew that. Bazinga. So it seems to me to be a great console if you don't mind the storage or would want to get some external storage. So that to me, it gets uh, gets a good out of 10. But is it the Xbox fridge? No, it's zero out of 10, zero out of 10. Get the heck out of here, zero out of 10, no Xbox fridge. I should, I should, I should, I should mention that the console is like stupidly cheap. It's like $300, like seriously. For three hundred dollars, you're getting a stupid, insane deal for this. So I don't know. That's if you, you know, my, I don't know. It's just something to think about. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave smash bell of icon of subscriberiness and go do your homework or and leave a like on the comments down below. Yay! I did get the Series S early, and if that interests you, go check out the video somewhere. It's somewhere. Go check. It's somewhere. Go check it out. And uh, yeah. Me when I get the Xbox Series S early is 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 for me is for me is is for me is 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 for me is for me is for me is for me.